Well this video was for Simon Daly of New Zealand who uh, contacted me on YouTube and said that he worked on Britannia Pier in 1971 and uh, it was a shame that I didn't actually walk onto the pier in my last video. So Simon, this is for you. Um, again, I'm in Great Yarmouth. Right, we'll stroll along to the entrance of the pier. We're just walking towards the, uh, I'd love to call this the front or the back, but this is the bit that sticks out into the sea. The first pier opened in 1858 and was 700 feet long. But um, there was a small accident uh, because the end of it was hit by a schooner called the James and Jesse. That caused so much damage, it reduced the length of the pier by 50 feet. Now, since that time, the uh, pier hasn't had a run of good luck. In the 19th century, the pier was used for open air concert parties, and in 1880, a purpose built enclosed area was built. By the beginning of the 20th century, Great Yarmouth was becoming a prosperous seaside town. And with this in mind, they decided to replace the pier's original construction with wood and steel. A grand 2,000 seat pavilion was constructed as well. This major facelift was the beginning of the 1900s and officially opened again in June 1902 after the construction was finished. The pier had a spell of bad luck with fires. 1909 saw the pavilion burned to the ground. A second pavilion was built and a year later that, was, that caught fire in 1914, which was probably arson. The Floral Hall Ballroom opened in 1928 and in 1933, guess what, up in flames. 1933, another rebuild and ironically, that survived World War II. Great Yarmouth was heavily bombed during World War II as it was a major port and harbour town. But in 1954, you've guessed it, the pavilion caught fire and was destroyed in a big blaze. The fourth and present day pavilion was rebuilt and opened in 1958 and is home to Britannia Pier Theatre. This is entirely constructed of asbestos, so that will never burn, but, burn, but it will pop crack and explode if there was a major fire here. UK has a tradition of seaside um, theatres, normally at end of piers like this one. As you can see that there's quite a lot going on in 2017.
go, there's this monstrosity, although it serves a good purpose of asbestos, so as you know asbestos is a quite a dangerous product. Nice fluted effect. Probably 35 years ago this would have been heaving on a bank holiday weekend, such as this weekend. Times change, good or bad, who knows. safe to walk on. I can remember coming here as a child coming here as a child and the sea was always under the pier. Probably about halfway back towards the entrance. As you can see now with global warming it must have evaporated some of the sea because uh, it's certainly not under the pier today. Over there in the mist is Scrooby Sands. It's a wind farm generating electricity for hundreds of thousands of properties. Yes, we build them in the North Sea in a corrosive atmosphere. That I don't get. Well, Great Yarmouth has a history of ups and downs from the fishing industry, uh, the gas and oil and now we're into wind generated electricity. The town is prospering quite a lot now. Uh, the port and harbour area uh, are berths for the vessels that go out to the wind farms, uh, to exploratory vessels. Uh, um, there was a big port expansion but that's a bit of a wet lettuce I think but I imagine in time things will turn around for this town. I love this place. My videos are tongue-in-cheek so don't take them all as as being the truth. They're pretty much near the mark to uh, what this place is. But a lot of people still come here for holidays and enjoy themselves. As you can see, yes, typical woman driver. Oops, that's got me another strike. Well, Simon, I hope the uh, video has taken you back to 1971. I don't know if this is the bar you worked in. Here is love for young and old.
many happy family memories. As you, can, as you can see, he was happy. Sorry about the weather. It's a bit grey. You saw, the, you saw there over in the distance um, a tower, that used to be an observation tower but for some reason it's not opened now, so I can't take you up there. Pleasure Beach over in the distance, you can see the big wheel. by the marum grass that's that green spiny looking stuff growing under the pier that the tide doesn't come as far up as it used to so explain that one global warming theorists And that, my friends, on YouTube was a whistle-stop tour of Britannia Pier.